the fungus forces infected ants to walk to the top of a plant and clamp its jaws on the plant with a death grip that will trap it there until it dies. The fungus next sprouts antennae like stalks through its victim's exoskeleton, which fire spores onto the ground below, allowing it to infect as many insects as possible. One of these fungi is the Entomiphthora musca, which infects female houseflies and uses its victim's corpse to attract males to mate with it. Just last year, it was revealed that the longer the female host is dead, the more alluring it is to the male flies. E. Musca first penetrates through the skin of the housefly before growing its way through the body, infecting its nervous system. After about a week of digesting its guts, the fungus forces the fly to ascend to a high point and spread out its wings before it dies. Next, the fungi grows an array of micro-sized stalks on the corpse, each one a pressurized cannon of liquid with a spore that can be ejected outwards. It also releases a chemical signature that acts as pheromones to lure unsuspecting males to come and mate with the infected female corpse. The males trigger the cannons and end up coated in a spray of infectious spores which will, eventually, also turn it into a zombie housefly. This ensures that the fungal spores are dispersed as widely as possible so the gruesome process happens again on another fly. Dr. Henrik de Fine Licht, a professor at the University of Copenhagen and author on the study, has been watching The Last of Us. He told Mail Online, it makes the not too far fetched idea of a fungal disease, jumping from one species, insects in this case, and onto humans. Many, if not most, new diseases likely come from pathogenic organisms shifting from other species. So the idea is compelling. But while it could be possible for a disease to be passed from non human to human, it would likely take millions of years of evolution. Dr. De Fine Licht told Mail Online All behavior manipulating fungi like Entomiphthora musca causing zombie flies, or the Ophiocordyceps species causing zombie ants, are very host specific. That is, they naturally only infect a single or very few related insect host species. Their ability to behaviorally manipulate their host has evolved and been fine-tuned during millions of years co-evolution with their respective insect hosts. So the chance of these fungi suddenly being able to not only infect something as different from an insect as a human, and then also maintaining the ability to manipulate the behavior is literally non-existent. PhD student Sam Edwards, who works with Dr. De Fine Licht, noticed similarities between E. Musca and the fictional fungi in The Last of Us, through the way an elderly woman reacted to infection. He told Mail Online, when we see the old lady twitching in the background in her chair, she does this around sunset, which is when manipulation happens in E. Musca. Also, the weird protrusions that old lady has from her mouth when feeding on her relative's E. Musca comes out the fly's mouth after manipulation, not for feeding, but to strengthen its hold on the wall it died on. The co-creators of The Last of Us, Neil Druckmann and Craig Mazin, said that their fungus is actually based specifically off cordyceps, which infects carpenter ants. They told Collider, Cordyceps is a fascinating concept, and it's absolutely real. We wanted to push that a little further. We wanted to give as much reality as we could because the realer that is. The more we connect to the characters that are in that space playing around. Cordyceps forces infected ants to walk to the top of a plant and clamp its jaws on the plant with a death grip that will trap it there until it dies. The fungus next sprouts antennae like stalks through its victim's exoskeleton, which fire spores onto the ground below, allowing it to infect as many insects as possible. 
If you've been watching the new zombie series, The Last of Us, you may have thought you were safe with the knowledge that it was all fictional. The series follows smuggler Joel as he escorts teenager Ellie through Boston, Massachusetts, while Afungus spreads across the world that turns victims into zombies. This parasite is actually based on a real group of fungi which grow within their host's body after infection and can control its behavior. Worryingly, experts have deemed the idea of a similar fungus evolving to be able to infect humans as not too far-fetched. The co-creators of The Last of Us, Neil Druckmann and Craig Mazin, said that their fungus is based specifically off cordyceps, which infects carpenter ants.